If you're researching Sony hearing aids, or maybe you just purchased a pair and you're trying to better understand the Sony app, this video is for you. We're going to dig into how to set up the Sony hearing aids via the smartphone app, some hacks and tricks to make your hearing aids sound even better, and all of the controls that you'll have access to as a Sony hearing aid user. If we haven't yet met, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. We're one of the leading resources for hearing aid shopping and research in the United States. If you like what you see in this video, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps us reach more people. Sony hearing aids are our best-selling and top-rated in-ear device at Soundly.com. We put this product in the hands of thousands of customers, and through that experience, we've learned about some of the questions that folks ask about the app setup process. And in this video, we're going to dig into all of that, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good sense for how this app really works. Now, if you've just purchased a pair of Sony hearing aids, to start, you'll want to charge up your devices before we get into the setup process. So I've charged these up for overnight. I'm going to pull them out put them in my ears, and we're going to start walking through the app process. All right, so once you have the Sony hearing aids in hand, the first thing I want to do is search Sony hearing control in your app store. You'll see an app that looks like this. You can download and open that app. Now, of course, I've already set up my hearing aids to initially review the product, but I'll show you what initially would happen when you set up these hearing aids. The first thing you do is register for the Sony app. So you'll need to create an account using an email address and your name. Once you do, you'll be sent into the hearing aid setup. This will be the first thing that you're prompted to do. You'll select the product that you've purchased, and then you'll begin your hearing aid setup. Now it's worth noting that you can update your hearing profile anytime using the smartphone app. You simply tap on the hamburger on the left-hand side, go into hearing aid setup, and tap hearing profile check. This will take you into the hearing test, which is also the same experience that you'll get when you first unbox the product. During the hearing profile creation, the Sony app will send high frequency sounds to your hearing aids and present beeps into your ears. So in your right ear and your left ear, you're going to hear beeps and you'll simply answer the number of beeps that you heard, zero, one, two, or three. You'll do that repeatedly in your left ear and then in your right ear. And when you're done, it will sync all of that information into your updated hearing profile. Now, it's important to note that both in the setup process and throughout the use of the app with your Sony hearing aids, you'll be using the high frequency sound that comes from your smartphone to actually control your hearing aids. This means that Bluetooth is not what's making the changes within your hearing aids, but rather this high frequency sound. And it means that you need to keep your volume at at least 75% and also make sure that your ringer is not on silent, but it's actually on ring so that your phone can emit a sound. This is one of the first things that we offer to folks if they're having trouble getting a connection between their hearing aids and their app. Now, within the main screen of the Sony app, you'll see a couple of pretty basic controls. The first is simply a volume slider. You can slide up the volume, down the volume, and as I do that, I'm hearing my hearing aids change pretty significantly in the volume of the sound around me. You can also go into the balance section and change the balance to provide more sharpness, which will provide crispness in S's and T's and consonant sounds, or you can go with a rounder, bassier sound if that's more comfortable to you. Now, it's worth noting that both the volume and the balance sections are only basic functionalities. If you really wanna make significant changes and really get into how your hearing aids sound in various settings, you'll want to head back over to the menu and go into the fine tuning section. Now, this is one of the main things that folks do not realize is here. It's kind of hidden in the menu, but once you get into the fine tuning section, you're gonna have a ton of controls that will enable you to make lots of changes to your hearing aids. So let's head into the fine tuning section and I'll show you what's inside here. Now, the first thing to look at is the category. There are five different categories that you can choose from, loudness, own voice, speech, sound quality, and others, this is simply feedback management. So depending on what you're experiencing, you'll want to pick a category that makes sense. Let's say you're frustrated by the sound of your own voice. This is something that's common, especially with new hearing aid wearers. They're hearing more of their own voice than they're used to. Maybe you wanna turn that down. So you'd head into the own voice section and then you'd give a description of what's going on. So you could either say it's too loud, it's unnatural, it's nasal sounding, or it's too soft. We'll say too loud. Then I'd hit continue and it's going to present me a solution. So I'll actually try that solution. It's applying this solution to my hearing aids now in my ears. And then in just a moment when it's done, 
I'll be able to give that a try and see if it's helping the sound of my own voice. Now, after trying this out for a moment or two, let's say I like the solution that it's presented. I'm going to say yes, and I'll actually keep that solution. I'll say done. And now I can either leave the fine tuning session or I can continue to do more fine tuning inside of this section and go after other issues that I might be experiencing with my hearing aids. So let's head back in there and we'll take a look at some of the other options that are present. We've talked about own voice processing. Let's say you're having difficulty with speech. Maybe you're in background noise and you're not getting as much clarity as you want. You'd head into the speech section and then again, you'll go in and tell the app what you're experiencing. If you're in a noisy environment and you simply can't get the speech picked out of that background noise, maybe you'll say incomprehensible. This is going to create a program that separates speech and noise. We'll try that solution again, let it apply to our hearing aids, and then we'll give it a try to see how it sounds in our ears and decide if we like the solution or we want to try something else. In this case, I'm going to actually say, no, I don't like this solution. It's going to take it away from my hearing aids, so it'll take just a moment to take that program off of my hearing aids, and then it's going to give me another option targeted at the same problem. So this is one of the cool things about fine tuning. There's not just one solution to each problem, there are multiple different solutions that the engineers have put in place. So I now have solution two, I could give that a try, and I could continue forward like this until I find the solution that works really well for me. Now, as I mentioned, there are several other categories that you can dig into, including loudness. You could turn down the loudness if you're feeling like it's too loud or sound quality, which will give you the opportunity to turn up the sharpness or give you even more roundness and bass sound. This is similar to the balance feature in the main remote control settings. So you have lots of different functionality that you can unlock. And again, this is one of the hidden features in the Sony app that a lot of people don't see. And when they do, they find that they're really able to customize these hearing aids to match their particular needs. All right, the setup, the main remote control, and the fine tuning section of the app are definitely the highlights, but there are a few other things to point out before we end this review. The first is that you can check your battery life at any time. You simply tap on the battery icon and it will give you one beep if you're below 50%, two beeps for 50 to 80, or three beeps for above 80%. This takes a moment to check, but if you're wondering where your battery life sat at any given point, this is a way to get that information. Now, it's worth noting that the Sony CRE C20 hearing aids, which are our most popular model, last for 28 hours on a single charge. So you really shouldn't run out of battery in one day, but you've got access to this feature if you do. Another thing we hear from folks sometimes is that they want to alter the master volume. So yes, you can change the volume here, but what if I wanna make everything louder or everything quieter? So you can head back into that hearing aid setup and instead of going into hearing profile check, you'll go into adjust loudness. This is gonna give you the opportunity to manually change the volume in your right and left hearing aids. This is also a way to change the sound balance. If you feel like your left ear or your right ear needs a little bit of a boost, you can simply turn that up. It will apply that to your hearing aid. I hear that taking now. Then you can take that change and it will apply to your master settings. So there you have it. That's the Sony hearing control app. Remember that most of the superpowers of this app are hidden in the menu section. So you'll want to head into the fine tuning or the hearing aid setup. So there you have it. Whether you are researching Sony hearing aids before considering a purchase or you are a new customer setting up your devices. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how the app works along with a few tips and tricks that'll make your experience a little bit easier. But if you're in research mode and you have more questions, feel free to head over to soundly.com. Our team would be happy to answer those questions for you. If you're a current customer, you can always get in touch with us, customercare at soundly.com or through our main phone number. We'll talk to you soon.